Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to welcome you on our webinar that is dedicated to types of product manager role. My name is Victoria Kofton. I'm the product leader. And currently, I'm based in Berlin. I'm working at Delivery Hero as lead product manager. And I'm working for now on B2B products uh, for our vendors uh, and specifically for so-called order flow. So the order, the products that help vendors to process orders. Previously, I uh, worked for more than seven years in marketplaces and classifies industry in Eastern European market. And uh, I had various roles, starting from product manager to product director. And here uh, I uh, uh, put my link to my LinkedIn account. Please feel free uh, to reach out to me after webinar. Uh, and yes, uh, uh, leave your requests for friends or for of, of following me. Yes, and for today, let me quickly introduce the agenda that we have. So first of all, uh, I would like to cover the five main types of product managers. So I will give you the introduction in various types that exist on the market that I met during my career as the product manager. The second point, uh, we will do together the exercise of understanding your profile. And uh, the third point as the outcome, we will do the short exercise of matching your profile with the relevant role. So uh, let's start. Uh, and uh, first of all, before we jump into the details, I would like to make an introduction that Specifically for now, there are no, uh, there are still no industry-wide standards for how to categorize product management position. We can meet on LinkedIn uh, different uh, job, uh, job positions open. Uh, specifically in the job title, we can see just the grade of product manager, for example, middle, middle product manager, senior product manager, uh, product lead, uh, product director, and so on. Of course, uh, in uh, around 30% of uh, job positions, the way we can meet, for example, technical product manager, growth product manager, but still, uh, I would say that there is no so strict classification for product managers roles, and it's on us as product managers to understand what the role is about, and sometimes it's more about reading the job position description and also talking with the company who they uh whom they need as a product manager and what this role will be about and here before we jump into five types of product managers i would like to list with you all the product managers types that i met through my career so also please feel free to leave your comments if any product manager type is missing or for example you met uh, them also during your career journey. Uh, we can discuss it uh, uh, during the webinar. So first of all, of course, as uh, the product manager, maybe the most uh, popular type is so-called technical PM, right? So uh, product managers that are uh, that have quite solid technical skills, who have uh, the background of uh, software engineer or QA, and uh, these product managers are working typically typically in the technology uh, heavy companies some, such as Google, Amazon, and others. The second role is uh, the B2C PM. So uh, I met uh, quite or I meet quite often the description of the B2C PM uh, also on the LinkedIn or among my network. Uh, so for the B2C PM, that is the product manager that's uh, who's the man, who's main focus in on the consumer faced uh, products, for example, Uber, any food delivery applications, and such. So these product managers uh, are working closely also with the collaboration uh, with the product marketing. Uh, they also have strong skills in UI, UI UX and uh, they specifically focus on the b2c customer segment the next uh, product manager type that i also met in my career that is the b2b product manager uh, i would say that uh, depending on the company on the product b2b product manager could also split into three 
types, main types of B2B product managers, for example. Uh, the first one could be a small business uh, uh, product manager who, who is working on the products for small businesses, then medium businesses, and then enterprise B2B product manager. For example, as the company like SAP, they I am for sure uh, the B2B enterprise product managers are working and they understand the customer segment quite well and specialize in the B2B products. The next one is the growth PM. Uh, as the technical PM, I also um, quite often meet the new job openings uh, for growth PMs or uh, among my network, I have uh, product managers who specialize on growth. So for growth PM, uh, they focus mainly uh, on growing products, uh, facilitating growth, uh, scaling products, and also they work quite closely with the uh, customer acquisition uh, inside the company, conversion rate optimization, and some monetization strategies. The next type is data or analytics PM. So these product managers quite often came from product analytics roles or business analysis roles, uh, sorry, uh, data analysis roles, and they specifically focus on data products inside the company. And uh, they have strong expertise on data and how to build data products. The next type is AIPM. I think it's quite popular right now, right, with the chat GPT. Uh, I also meet that, uh, I also see that some new job position as AIPM appear. And I suppose that this trend uh, will be quite popular also in the future. And uh, for AIPM, it's quite critical to specialize and understand the data science uh, basics, the AI basics, uh, and also for building sophisticated products. Maybe it's also quite crucial to have the strong expertise in this area. And the next one is the generalist PM. Uh, so uh, this type of product manager has solid skills, general solid skills in product manager management, such as end-to-end -end product development from the idea till launch, till post-release support, and so on. Uh, for generalist PM, sometimes it's not so crucial to have the deep expertise in the specific domain or industry. And uh, generalist PM can work in any uh, company, any product, if the company needs such a PM. Um, the next one is the marketing PM. For marketing PM, they are mainly working with the marketing departments or inside marketing departments. They could come from product marketing or acquisition or general marketing, and they are working on, uh, they could, could work on acquisition products, landing pages, conversion rate optimization, and ROI optimization. And the next one that I also met is the design PM. Uh, design PM, I would say it's, it's quite a rare rare uh, role for now. They could um, um, they could be met in the companies that pay attention to design. Design PM can work closely uh, on the can work on the UI UX, and that could be their main focus. Of course, such PMs could be um, integrated into design teams, and together with the design teams, they could understand and. Uh, make uh, and find out how to make uh, uh, ex customer experience for the product better uh, and develop the product in that direction. And the next one is also the type of PM that I met. It's the visionary PM. Uh, specifically for visionary PM, uh, such product managers have a really great uh, and strong product vision. They are uh, they they can strategically think about the product, define the next steps for one, two, three years. And among visionary PMs, there are a lot of startup founders and co-founders. Uh, visionary PM are really good at product strategy at defining trends, but could have some weaknesses in execution, in team management, and um, communication with the engineering teams. And the next role is the opposite for visionary PM, that's the get things done PM. So these product managers type are deeply into execution. They maybe are closely a closer to pro program or project management, uh, and they deeply understand how the team can execute, what are the steps to deliver 
uh, features, products, and uh, for them, there is no such an answer as no. So get things done, PM, are very valuable in the companies where the things should be just done. And the next type is the hardware PM. Uh, previously here, we were talking about the digital product management, so right about the internet products. But still, uh, for hardware PM, it's also the type of PM that specializes in the uh, building products, devices as products. And I would say that we could also list this type of PM here, just to keep in mind that um, this, this role could be re relevant for building, develop, building and improving various devices. And the next type, as you see, we have plenty of them. It's the domain or industry specific PM. I will say that this role is quite uh, often met. So for example, a product, there could be product managers uh, uh, that have expertise in banking, in payments, uh, e-commerce, uh, food tech, and other industries. And uh, sometimes uh, for such PMs, uh, the job description looks like three plus years of experience in specific industry. And uh, for these PMs are quite valuable in the companies that uh, that need this expertise and deep understanding of the product and the market. And uh, the last well, the last one is the startup PM. So this PM could be the combination of everything that we have listed here. So specifically for startups, right? Uh, in the beginning of uh, in the beginning uh, of product development, sometimes uh, the product manager could do everything from the idea, from market research, from from uh, user interviews till uh, uh, to finding product market fit, then to scaling products, product marketing, and so on. So startup PMs could vary uh, on uh, the startup industry, but I would say that uh, startup PM could have all the uh, roles, all the skills that uh, all of the PMs listed here uh, require. And yeah, as we saw, there were uh, quite a lot of uh, different types of uh, product managers. Uh, I have listed there the types of product managers that I met during my career. If I miss something, or for example, you met other roles, please feel free to comment and uh, describe the role. And oops, sorry. And here, uh, I would say that still uh, we can categorize somehow the product manager types, right? Uh, just uh, bring the, let's say, clean up the house. And uh, here I listed four ways how we can categorize product manager profiles. First of all, of course, it could be by the company. So for example, uh, technical PMs, data PMs, we can uh, definitely say that uh, such PMs could work in specific uh, companies. So for example, technical PM could work for technical companies, data PM for data-driven company, uh, and so on. The second way to categorize is by industry. So it's quite obvious here that we can meet e-commerce PM, fintech PM, blockchain, crypto PM, also B2C PM for consumer-faced applications, and for example, B2B enterprise PM. And also product managers could be categorized by product life cycle, such as, for example, startup PM for product market fit uh, finding stage, growth PM for growth stage, monetization PM for uh, growth or also maturity stage of the product. And also the categorization could be done by PM's focus. For example, it could be technical PM, marketing PM, design PM. Why I have listed here the ways of uh, categorizing product manager types is just because it's quite crucial for us as professionals to understand uh, the um, the missing elements of what we want and how we under identify our uh, profile. So when we think about the company, industry, product lifecycle, uh, our focus, it's uh, it it's very helpful for us to understand our profile. For example, if I really enjoy working in technical companies and fintech companies and with the products uh, that are on the growth stage, I would say that um, 
most probably I will work as fintech technical fintech product manager uh, with a focus on uh, maturity, on product maturity, on supporting product, uh, product support, and so on. So these uh, five, sorry, these four elements can help us to understand better what we want and how we can identify our role. And uh, the next point that I wanted to highlight here, uh, we just briefly discussed it in the beginning, that still the companies do not often highlight the product management types even in the job title, right? So here I made the screenshot of the first page of open position for product manager in Berlin right now. Here we see, first of all, that the uh, product manager roles are categorized by the grades, right? We see here we see senior PMs, uh, lead product managers, uh, and yeah, also mid middle product manager and product management lead. And then, uh, sorry, uh, if we check uh, the uh, title in details, we can see that, for example, for some roles, it's already identified that technical product manager with expertise in payments needed. So here we can identify that this role, this product manager type is related to more uh, technical and uh, with the focus on payments as the domain, and it will be quite quite crucial for this role. Also, as the, an example for the senior product manager upselling uh, get safe company, here we see that uh, the expertise in specific, let's say, product mechanics is uh, required, right? So the focus will be on upselling and it will require the specific skills. But in other roles, there is no detailed description, no detailed title, what this role will be about. And it's up for us to understand through the job description, also talking with companies, what the product manager role, product manager type the company is looking for. And if we understand the profile correctly, then we can, we can identify how uh, our own profile as a product manager uh, fits that role. and. Uh, do we will we prefer to work for that company or not so yeah that is how the uh market situation look like looks like and yes still there are no industry wide standards for now and yes uh we have listed more than 10 product manager types and uh for now i would like to focus on five most frequent frequent product manager types that i met during my career and my network so here they are. Uh, the first one is technical PM, uh, second one domain or industry specific PM, growth PM, data analytics or AI PM, and I also combine generalist and get things done PM as I, I would say that this role is required in many companies and uh, in many industries. So let's discuss briefly each of this role and where these roles could be met. So the first one is the technical PM. Uh, technical PMs have for, as uh, uh, it's obvious, have a more technical background, right? As uh, And they work better with the engineering teams. Technical PMs uh, quite often come from engineering, QA, and any technical role. Uh, technical PM have a really strong eye on technical details and uh, as the downside, uh, of technical product management is that uh, sometimes technical PMs uh, have less time and focus on other tasks such as marketing. And also technical PMs could be found in such uh, companies that have very technical products as, for example, Splunk, Kubernetes, uh, Google, Amazon, VWS. The second one uh, is the domain or industry specific PMs. So, uh, these PMs uh, gain uh, expertise by working on products in a specific domain over time. For example, it could be e-commerce, classifieds, fintech. So for domain uh, or industry-specific PM, they have really deep understanding of the domain industry, uh, also market uh, landscape, competitors landscape, user needs. And such PMs have also very deep product knowledge, so they do not they understand not just their specific part, but quite often working in one industry, they understand how the whole product is functioning. 
And as an example, these PMs could be found in such companies as Revolut for banking, Stripe for payments, Zalando in Europe for e-commerce and fashion e-commerce. And the second, the third type is the growth PM. Uh, the role of a growth PM is to keep focus on product growth and scaling. Growth PM have a good understanding uh, on uh, acquisition strategies, conversion uh, rate optimization, also monetization strategies. Sometimes growth PMs have uh, marketing, monetization or conversion rate optimization background. Uh, also, uh, growth PM can come from product marketing, acquisition, and general marketing. These type of PM could be found specifically in the companies that are growing, uh, rapidly growing right now. For example, Miro, uh, their company is uh, focused on their product-led growth and their various open positions for growth PM and growth product managers that are already working in the company. As the second example, I also put here the um, application flow. That's for period tracking. They are grow also very rapidly grow uh, growing. And uh, as I know, they are in top one in um, uh, installs and uh, they have a strong growth team. Also, I put here Microsoft as the huge corporation, right? But still, is for specific products, they also need growth PMs and to boost their new product growth or the existing product growth. And the fourth type is data analytics or AI PM. I just merged these types of PM in one role. Uh, of course, they have uh, different specifics depending on the whether it's data analytics or AI. So uh, for data product managers, they usually aim to strategically develop, launch on the market and support and improve a company's data products or they work on the products that are data specific. Uh, honestly, this type of PM is very close to technical PM. Uh, uh, data analytics or AI PM have strong background as data analysts, also data scientists. They skills at data analysis, modeling, and also providing business recommendation based on data. Uh, such PMs could be found in the companies I put here as the example Tableau, the uh, dashboard reporting company. Uh, as it specializes on the data product as itself. I put here also Algolia, that's the search engine as a service, and of course, as an AI product, OpenAI, ChatGPT. And the five, the fifth uh, type, the last one, uh, the generalist or get things done PM. I merged uh, two types of generalist and get things done PM in one role because from my perspective, it's always quite similar to what uh, uh, th this type of PM does. Such PMs uh, know the end-to-end -end product management and uh, they focus on delivery at all costs. So what this PM can do, they can set up the product development process from ideation to execution, launch and post-release support. They are able to create clear vision, uh, product strategy and roadmap they can really well execute and launch products. They are very adaptive to lead teams, uh, no matter what industry, which domain, customer segment or technology. And uh, as uh, for getting done PM, they have, uh, they don't take no as a, an answer and they push uh, the, their products for launch. And uh, in this case, they could be very valuable in the companies where time to market is critical. I would say that uh, these types of product managers could be found in uh, specific companies such as growing startups where getting things done phase is quite crucial. Also late stage companies uh, where maybe the resistance already is quite high and also the company sometimes could be slow in product uh, delivery and uh, they need to find someone who can boost their time to market. Also, it could be ops companies. So the company, for example, uh, the type of the company I'm working in, right, working at right now, that could be right hailing companies, food delivery company, and also logistics. Here I put the examples of two food tech companies, Grab 
that operates in uh, Asian market. Karim uh, right hailing food delivery operates in uh, Mina. Yes, so that is the uh, quite brief overview of five main types, quite frequently uh, met types of product managers. And I want to show you my personal experience. So working as the PM for more than seven years already, I made a transition to, to various PM roles. So first of all, I started as data and analytics PM. I was working on in uh, for data products inside the company uh, just because I had the uh, background in as product analyst previously and it was quite easy for me to make such a transition to product manager having such skills. After that, I made the transition to classifieds. I worked for many years in classifieds uh, industry and I became an uh, industry-specific PM because with each year of our experience, I gained this market knowledge, I gained the product knowledge, and I deeply understood how the product is functioning, how the market landscape looks like. And I was deeply into the details of user needs and uh, competitors' uh, landscape also. And now I'm working in the food tech company and uh, most of all my role for now is the generalist pm because i'm working with the various types of products with the uh, various types of features we have a lot of uh, collaboration with other departments cross-functional products projects and sometimes i just i need to be the generalist product manager who understands the general context and could make uh, the product uh, delivery faster and also make the proper solution for the business needs. So now I'm in the combination of generalists and get things done PM and uh, very interesting quotes coming next. So yeah, quite happy to see uh, which next transition I will have. And uh, let's uh, having this, having this uh, context in mind, and different PM, uh, uh, different uh, product manager types in mind. Let's maybe briefly uh, do an exercise how to understand your profile. So here I put four main points uh, to which it's uh, important to pay attention to when uh, we want to understand the profile and uh, find maybe the uh, job positions that uh, will be relevant. So here are uh, background, it's quite crucial, I would say, in the beginning. So when um, for, when we want to make the transition from any role to product manager. The second one is quite uh, important to understand the skills uh, that we have. For example, if they are technical skills or um, visionary skills, uh, then we can make the perfect fit for the relevant product manager type. The third point I would say is personal strengths. For example, for the getting PM, if uh, the person if if the person is very really passionate about launching things, uh, see the result, and see how things get done, then it will be the perfect fit for getting PM. And the first uh, point is preferences. So what we want also matters. So uh, if we understand that we have uh, specific preferences or we love specific industries, for example, uh, I, I really enjoy working in the classifies industry, then maybe it will be the good sign to choose the relevant product manager role and make the transition, uh, make, the, make, make, the, make the proper transition to it. So let's just uh, let's just discuss the example. Uh, here we have four uh, points, uh, four criteria how we can analyze the profile. And as the example, I put here some context. For example, for the background, me as a product manager, I have three years in user acquisition and marketing. For the skills working in user acquisition and marketing, I have gained great skills in conversion rate optimization, also product rate led growth. And previously I was working in monetization products and for monetization products, and I have really strong skills in monetization strategy. As my personal strengths, I'm a great communicator. I 
can influence people and lead teams without authority. And my preferences are, first of all, consumer face products, then face based environment and rapidly growing companies. What which role could be uh, relevant for me? I would say that based on these criteria and uh, uh, over and uh, having in mind five frequent product manager roles, I would say that it could be the growth product manager. So yeah, I can uh, I can choose this uh, role if I'm, not, for example, if I'm working the, as the product manager right now, as so the general product manager, and I see that maybe it could be the better fit for me, and I want to make the transition. I would take a look at the growth product manager, and maybe we'll try to find out the opportunities inside the company that I'm working in right now uh, for the role that will fit my background, skills, strengths, and preferences. Or this understanding will also help to find out new job opportunities on the market and create a better fit for the next company and the next challenge. That is quite easy exercise, right? So having in mind only four points and the context, we can understand our profile and find any relevant companies or role inside the, or inside the organization that could fit our background, skills, strengths, and preferences. Oops. And um, the last one, um, the... Um, the last, not maybe advice, but my personal thought that I'm thinking about myself, as I mentioned, I was transitioning from data and analytics PM to industry-specific PM, then to generalist and get things done PM. And I don't know what will be next, right? So what I'm keeping in mind is, please, Victoria, keep evolving. Don't be afraid to make further transitions. And the only things that is stable for today is changes. So yeah, uh, I would like us to keep it in mind and uh, be very open to what life will prepare for us and don't be afraid of the next transition to the next product manager role. And uh, that's it for, for the webinar for today. Thanks a lot, everyone, for attending it. I'm quite open for any questions, comments. Please feel free to leave them in the comments section for the webinar. And thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye bye.